Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this video series from. It's me again, Peter. Thank you so much for coming back. Today, I have a new video for you in a Microsoft Exchange series, and it's going to be about configuration of a mailbox permission for a shared mailbox in Microsoft Exchange 2019. So let's get started. Let me talk a little bit about uh, what a shared mailbox is. It's a type of mailbox that allows multiple users to access and manage a common email account. You'll be like, Peter, what do you mean? So a common email account is just, let's say, for example, you have a local bank, you went to their website, or you visit them one of these days and they said, oh, Peter, if you're having any issue with your maybe login, uh, please kindly send a message to info at localbank.com. So what that email is, is actually a common email. The reason why I call it common email is because a lot of user working maybe in that case for customer service, they have access to that email. So when the bank um, customers actually send an email to the common email, all of them might see it at the same time. Depends on how that email is configured. So let's go ahead and configure one. I'm going to show you how it works and we do the practice. You go to, once you have access to your Exchange Admin Center, you go to recipient you go to shared, you click on the plus sign. And what we wanted to do here is that we want to create the, what we call the shared mailbox, common email. We're going to say IT support. And the following users have permission to view. So we wanted to see who is going to be working in the IT department that have access to this mailbox. We are going to give it to Adam. We click on Add. OK. And if you want, in the real life scenario, you'll be able to, man, this, you can specify if I want that email to be on database one, which is fine with me. If not, it's just going to choose a random database. And for me, it's OK for the lab. Now we have an email, a shared email called IT support at studywithpeter.com. Okay. I've not been able to log into this email. Why? Because this email is not like the regular mailbox whereby you can edit or change the password that come, I mean, so that you can go like, for example, let me go over here and i can say let me go ahead and sign out let me refresh that i'm going to put it and support at studywithpeter.com and i'm going to put a password i don't have a password for this email because it's a shared email so let's go back but Adam actually have access to this email. So let's go ahead and log into Adam's email. I think I've done that earlier, but let me refresh. Peter again. <laughs> so this is Adam. If Adam should come over here and open another mailbox, I can guarantee you that Adam will have access to open this mailbox. Let's let's give it a go and see. So Adam can actually monitor what type of email that comes here. Also, in the other end, you can see that this is IT support and this is Adam's email. Adam. And this is IT. So he can actually open these because he have a full access to it. But the idea is that let's say uh, we have, let's 
pick up another user in our environment. Let's say user one login. Uh, come on, Peter. Oh, come on, what's going on? Next, say uh, user one login and oh, okay. This is how I'm going to reset the password for user one just in case this happened to you. And that's it. That's how I fix it. Let's say user one login and uh, user one really want to needs like an IT support. So if user one should go ahead and type an email to IT support and say, I need help. Help me, please. So what happened is that this email actually go, it's going to show for Adam. Let's refresh and let's wait a little bit. Okay. You see that, well, this is the IT support email that Adam have access to. We already see that coming through because user one just sent that email and that appears. He said, your request cannot be completed right now. Let's see what happened. It's just because I'm logged out. So I'm going to log in as Adam and let's see what happened because user one already sent that email to the IT. So let's see what happened now. I'll sign out and I'm going to log in as Adam. So all we are doing right here is just practicing to see how the scenario that I mentioned at the beginning with the bank to see how it works. Oops, I think I made another mistake with my password again. I don't want to reset it. I don't want to reset it. So, okay. This is Adam Inbox. So, this is Adam Inbox. I just, uh, this one is actually deleted. That was the one that I'm trying to do at the beginning. So if I go ahead and open, oops. If I go ahead and open the IT support email, I should have access to it. Let me go to the shared, copy, go back and open that shared mailbox. I should be able to see this email sent by user one. Now, if you are like, oh, Peter, no, nah, no, nah, that's not true. And you're kind of fighting with me that everybody can see it. Well, this is Adam Smart. Now let's open another email. I can tell you that no other user can see this email. Um, Okay, I think I ran out of, uh, but I'm going to do something here. I want to log in as user one, which I forget is password. And this is user one right here. How do you know this is user one? I want to go ahead and open the same mailbox, I can guarantee you that I would not be able to open it. You see, let's see. It looks like, but I cannot. So that means that only the user that I have access will be, will have permission to monitor this mailbox. So for example, let me go ahead and reply to user one that Adam, yeah, thanks for reaching out to us. 
and I send an email to user one. So what is happening here when I go back to user one? Okay, this is the Adam. Let me go back. This is user one mailbox. You see what happened? The email come back from the IT support. And Adam, even though Adam was the one that sent that email, it does not show as if Adam was the one that replied back. So let me, okay, let me open this email very well for you to see. You see, the email is coming from the IT support, even though Adam was the one that sent it. So uh, that is how you can configure mailbox permission for a shared mailbox in Microsoft Exchange 2019. So please remember that a shared mailbox is actually a type of mailbox that allow multiple user to have access and manage. So I can assign user one also to this mailbox and I can tell that user one, we have access to send the same email like Adam. So go ahead and practice this in your lab. And if you have any question, please do let me know. I really appreciate you. I hope you learned something today. Uh, please remember that in IT, everything takes time. So you have to practice, you have to see you have to test so i must see you in my next video thank you so much for watching please like subscribe and have a good evening or good morning good afternoon bye bye for now